Hello again. Um, in the last video I did, uh, talking about Joe Paterno's wins and, and what they matter today, uh, I failed to uh, finish a thought that was very important. It was uh, a burden on me to, to just do another quick video. So if you have not seen the first video uh, talked about Joe Paterno, uh, you might want to go watch that because I'm not going to talk about all the things that I talked about in that one. But what I failed to uh, conclude was uh, Jerry Sandusky. Now we know that Joe Paterno's fate is sealed. He's dead and he's uh, on the other side uh, awaiting judgment because it says in the Bible that it is, appointed, it is appointed unto man once to die and then the judgment. So Joe's, Joe's fate is sealed. His name is either in the book of life or it's not and all the things that he did while he was here are, are written down and his, his time is finished. However, Jerry Sandusky, he can still get to heaven. And a lot of people might not like that because uh, well, the reasons are is because they're self-righteous or and or they hate the grace of God because we don't get saved on our terms. See, they see Jerry Sandusky as a, <clears throat> a vile, wicked man because of his uh, deeds as a convicted pedophile. So they're judging him based on what they think is, is morally right and, and good and correct. Uh, but God doesn't see it that way. God sees us all as sinners in need of a savior. See, Jerry Sandusky, he still has a chance. And, and if people don't like that, it's because they're self-righteous. See, Jerry Sandusky, he can, he can still cry out to God. See, the Bible says in uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 21, that uh, God made Jesus Christ him, says him, to be sin for us who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. It says in uh, the book of Romans uh, that um, while, we were, while, while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. So Jesus Christ came to die for sinners. The Apostle Paul, who murdered Christians before he wrote half of the New Testament, says that this is a faithful saying. It's worthy of all acceptation being accepted that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners and he viewed himself as the chief sinner of the worst sinner he, the worst sinner in the world is how Paul, the Apostle Paul viewed himself and Jesus Christ saved him see my friends in the book of John it says that he that hath the son hath life and he that hath, the, hath not the son hath not life but the wrath of God abideth on him and the only reason that God has not killed uh, you if you're not saved is because of his mercy. See, God is not willing that any, any man should perish, but that all should come to repentance to be saved. So today, if Jerry Sandusky would happen to watch this video and recognize his lost condition as a sinner, and that's all it is. You're not more lost or less lost if you're not saved. You're just lost, and you need to be saved. And he would get down on his knees, or doesn't have to, but if he would just by himself <clears throat> come to God in the depth of his heart and recognize his lost condition as a sinner and cry out to God for mercy. He would believe that Jesus died for his sins, that his blood pays, pays for his sins, and that he died, was buried, and resurrected. Then he would be saved. And my friends, if you don't like that, it's because... You're, you're self-righteous in your own eyes. And you don't like the way that God saves. God doesn't save us on our terms, my friends. God saves us on his terms. So if Jerry Sandusky followed God's path to salvation, he would still be saved. And you would be saved if you did the same. Have a good day.